Okay, so I'm assuming you've all had a look at this question, yeah, question four. Uh, yes. Yeah, so this is um, part of this AIMO we're doing to, tomorrow for some people and Saturday for some other people. And as I'm discovering, there's some people actually doing it on Monday, which is a little bit ridiculous, but whatever. Okay, so... Um, so this question, I, I'm not presenting this question from the point of view of like a math problem solving kind of question, yeah? yeah. I want to highlight a particular feature of this exam called the fake solve, okay? Have you guys heard of fake solving? Oh, yeah, you told me last week. Is it like when you just try like a solution and it just comes up? Yeah. That's what I did. But when I like, um, I saw this because um, I was looking on YouTube to find that video that you sent me. Um, mm. I saw this other video on that question, and I think the video was wrong because it just said that if if there were like x amount of easy questions, then the hard questions would be one hundred minus x. Mm. But that's thinking that there's no like questions that are neither. Yeah, no, that's more. definitely wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, where did you find that? It's just like, I don't know, it was the first YouTube video. Oh, okay. Well, that's terrible. Okay, so... But it, it had good solutions for the questions 1, 2, and 3. Mm. And... Yeah, that's all I like. Okay, so... Um, what do I mean by fake solve? So this is something I don't really like to tell people because... Like... It's too OP, okay? So basically... <laughs> Can you see what, so the question means you have a hundred like problems. You can give like a random, like you can just give like a random number. And because it's fine, the difference, it's not, there's only one difference. Okay? Yeah, so the question kind of implicitly says that the difference between the number of easy and difficult problems is the same no matter who does which problems, right? Exactly. So as long as um, you have, um, all the problems are solved by someone and each person solving 60 problems, then um, the question kind of implies, even though you might not know why, that the answer will be the same, right? The difference yeah. will be the same. So all you have to do for this question um, is to figure out one configuration which works, okay? Yeah. So let me if, suggest... If, if, we just do one, if, there's, if there's 100 questions for three students, then in total kind of there'd be like 300-ish. Uh, okay, so let me just give you a mathematical way to think about this. Okay, so this is this is probably what you you do even if you're solving the problem. I did okay? this because I could have. Like, well, I didn't even tell you what it was, so you couldn't have known. Yeah, I did you... like the fake solve thing. Okay, so I <laughs> just thought of one. Um, you can think of. Wait, so, is there anybody on the? Yeah, there's 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 Aiden and Ethan. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so basically. Um, what you could do is you could take a big factor of 160, which is 20, right? So you can make this 5, you can make this 3, you know? And it's really easy to solve a problem with 5 and 3, okay? So Wait, what's 5 and what's 3? The number of math problems, and the number each solve is 3. So the number of math problems is 5. Oh, yeah. So the number yeah, each okay. solve is 3, you know? So you have one, two, three, four, five, okay. Um, and see, without lots of generality, you can have like A do all first three, right? That's Andrew, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, it doesn't really matter as long as you make sure there's something in every column, right? So you have L, L, and L, yeah. Okay, and then you have Elaine. You can put Elaine anywhere, really, right? Um, you can put Elaine here, here, and maybe it's easier to put it here, yeah? Yeah. So that you can see here, this satisfies the problem, right? And there's no easy questions, and there's one hard question, right? This is the only hard question, yeah? Yeah. So the difference is what, right? Which is 20. Which corresponds to 20. So to get the 160, all you have to do is consider, like, instead of having question one, this is actually question one to 20, right? 
right? And this is the next 20. So this is like 21 to 40, right? Mm -hmm. And then so on, 31, no, sorry, 41 to 60. And this is 61 to 80, right? Yep. This is 81 to 100, you know? And so now every letter represents 20 problems they solved, right? So if you have three letters, it's still 60 problems that they solved. Okay. And um, and it satisfies the problem, right? And the difference is now 20. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So then, so in your answer sheet, then you would write the number 20. Okay. And you'd submit it without any, any working, right? And that's considered a fake solve, but it's a fake solve contest. So this is, you would get three marks, you yeah? know? So you do run some risks. I mean, you don't actually know the answer is always going to be 20. It's just the, the, the way the problems were, it, it kind of, it's telling you, right? You're just trusting the problem, right? Okay. If the answer doesn't happen, if it's not 20, you run the risk of losing all three marks, right? Instead of only losing one mark. Okay. Um, but actually, I feel like it's much harder to figure out that it always is 20 than to just get 20, right? So for a three mark question like this, it's almost like it was intended to be fake solved. So that's something that's unusual. Usually things just can be fake solved, but this one feels like it's almost intended to be fake solved. Okay. Um, so can you see in like a, in a matter of a minute, you could solve this question, um, with pretty much certainty, assuming that the question is, is well, well made. Right. But, um, it could take you like quite a long time to actually f figure out the solution. Yeah, so it's all or nothing if you only submit the answer, but one to eight. Okay. So, so this is a good technique for, for like saving lots of time and for doing questions that you legitimately can't solve. Okay. Um, and you know, our, our, we have famous examples of us doing it for question eight in like 2017 or 18 or something like this. And then they got the person a prize. Okay. But, uh, but it is essentially like, it's hard to say whether it's an abuse or not, you know, like, because it's still on letters. Even if it's so it, the, yeah, it's, it's, it's almost, it, it sort of is like a little bit of an abuse of the rules. Yeah. Because I mean, also like this method is not going to be very useful after AI mode because it's all proof contest. Right. So um so it's like a last basically like a last resort strategy. I don't know, but like would you say it's a last resort if this is the first thing you think of and it's the thing you end up doing for question four? Right? So it wouldn't be a last resort, right? I mean if you think of it you wouldn't like try like if you already think you can do it like in one minute. I don't think like you would Yeah, so the key to that is comprehensible working, yeah? So they have to understand what, what, what it is that you did. So the typical A4 page with just like little numbers scratched everywhere, that's worth zero, okay? <laughs> no one's going to bother to figure out what that means, okay? Um, but usually a diagram's worth a point, yeah? Um, for geometry questions. And... I mean, if you're doing a case bash of a combi problem and you basically drew all the cases somewhere, yeah, that could be worth points. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think the weird thing about this question is that the fake solve here is the first option, right? It's not the backup option. It's not the last resort. It's ab it's absolutely the first thing you think of and the first yeah. thing and the, and the thing, the thing you commit to doing. Okay. So just make sure you understand what it is that you're getting into when you do it. Right. It's like a. <laughs> I mean, I it's guess a, it's like just for examination purposes. Like, yeah. I don't think like not more questions we would try. To yeah, like you wouldn't do this at home, right? No. 
Do not try this at home. <laughs> Only try this in the exam. All right, do you have any questions?